Hello wonderful person, this is Anton and in today's video we're going to be using Minecraft and specifically here we're going to actually use Minecraft in 3D or in 360 to talk about something related to Star Wars because Rogue One is out and it's a pretty awesome movie that you should go and watch right now. Now this is a recreation of a Death Star by someone, I don't actually know who made it but uh, the mod is in the description below, you can download it yourself. But to make this video more educational, we're actually going to talk about why it would be quite impossible for us to construct a Death Star. Now, first of all, interestingly, back in 2012, there was actually a petition for the White House to ask the president to build the actual um, Death Star and something like 35,000 people signed it. So the um, Obama administration had to respond and they did respond saying that the administration shares your desire for job creation and a strong national defense, but the Death Star isn't on the horizon. And they basically went into detail how it's too expensive, how it even though it would create jobs, it would also lose a lot of money. And because it has an ultimate flaw where a single X-Wing or a single spaceship can actually destroy it. So all in all, they basically did, decided not to make one. But nevertheless, I would like to talk about other facts, why it would be impossible for us to make it. Not just the money, but also the actual science behind it. So first and foremost, the actual material. And here it would take us something like 800,000 years of output of basically metal to create enough metal for essentially the hull of the Death Star. So we will need a lot of metal and it's just not enough produced right now to even build this thing. And on top of that, all of the pollution from production of this metal would most likely turn our Earth completely in inhospitable. It would basically create too much hazardous materials that would make Earth uninhabitable. Now on top of that, anything in Earth orbit usually gets a bit of a drag from the upper atmosphere. The larger the object, the more drag it gets. So something that's as big as a Death Star would get enough drag that basically, even at very high orbit, it would essentially slow down and eventually fall back onto Earth, most likely destroying a big part of our planet as well, simply because this whole thing is like 160 kilometers in diameter. And if we were to put it in a very, very high orbit, it would require even more money that we just simply cannot afford. It would just be simply impossible. And don't forget all of the dangerous radiation that is located in this particular region of space where the Death Star will be constructed. And all of this radiation would most likely kill most of the construction workers that would be working on the Death Star, unless they were somehow protected by some kind of a shield, which we don't really know if it existed in, in the movie or not. Now the next thing of course is the Death Star Ray. The laser itself um, is just too science fiction right now. Even the most powerful razor, laser right now would barely go through a chunk of metal, not to mention destroy an entire planet. So our technology of lasers is just not there yet. And the most powerful laser that we currently have is a two quadrillion watt uh, beam constructed in Japan. And this particular beam 
is something like million billion times less powerful than what you would require to destroy a planet. In other words, we still have a lot to go. And on top of that, when you produce so much energy, this energy would most likely generate heat, which would most likely melt the actual Death Star. So how they dealt with that in the movie is a mystery. So taking all of these facts into consideration, you can kind of understand that building a Death Star is kind of impossible. Too much material, too dangerous to build, and would most likely fall back onto the planet if we put it in orbit around one. Anyway, so that's all I wanted to talk about in this video, and hopefully you enjoyed this uh, video in 360, and if you didn't, check out the normal non-360 version as well. I'll see you guys in the next video where we'll learn something else using video games. Game you later, and as always, bye bye But also, don't forget to subscribe, don't forget to share this video with people that like watching educational video game videos, and potentially support this channel Patreon as well to help me grow this channel and produce better quality videos. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.